Hi there, welcome back to Resin by Drew. I have a request for some silver and white Christmas decorations. So I've mixed up 200 grams of resin. I'm using a Resin Pro Transparent. I'm splitting the resin between two smaller cups because I don't like putting glitter into my mixing cups. I always find it quite difficult to clean them out once they've had glitter in. So I tend to use the plastic cups instead. I think they're just off screen. I have to excuse my arm in front of the mould. The mould that I'm using is from Moulds and Shapes. I've used it a few times before. It is a lovely mould. Um, it is holographic as well, I do believe. I'll have to double check that in a minute. Um, so I'm just splitting my resin and then I'm going to be adding some silver glitter to one, to one part and white glitter to the other part. Are we holographic? Yes, it's holographic wanted to double check that so I'll add the I'll go ahead and add the white glitter first and I'm just using a large tub of creative essentials glitter I can't actually remember where I got it from it could have been Amazon so I will have a look and if I can I will put a link below so as I say I'm adding white glitter to one part I am adding quite a lot two heaped spoonfuls And then I'm using um, Hemway, um, what is it, silver glitter for the um, silver pot and I'm just going to add that, I wasn't sure if I'd opened the pot, the, uh, cut the packet then but I have so that's okay. So I'll just add, add the same again, two spoonfuls of that and then I need to stir that in. That's my glitter added. Get my stir sticks ready. I'll do the silver first. As you can see, I have put quite a lot in. Do the white next. Stir the white in. Again, you can see I put quite a lot of glitter in there. I want it quite thick. I don't want it to move about too much in the mould. Take my stir sticks out for now. And I'm basically going to divide and spread the, um, the two glitters however I want to. So we'll do a little bit of white at the top on this one and at the bottom. And then we'll do some silver in the middle. Do the opposite on this one. Have a plain white one for this one. I have a plain silver star. I have a plain white star. This plain silver star for this one, and then the bells will do white at the top on this one and white at the bottom. With some silver in the middle, and we'll do the opposite on this one silver at the top and the bottom. And right in the middle. And I think we'll do the same again on this one, silver at the top and the bottom. With white in the middle. I 
I have got a little bit of resin left, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Pop that tray down below out of the way. Oops, there we go. some bigger stars, we'll just probably just get a, maybe one or two of these a plain white one a plain silver one and then on this one I think we'll do some silver around the edges because I've only got a little bit of white left so that it makes sense to pop that in the middle pop the white in the middle and then on this one I'm just going to pour what I've got left get a plain silver one from this one just making sure that the glitter that the uh, resin's going around the little loop that I'll thread the ribbon onto I think I had a little tiny fraction of white left so that can go in the middle I'm not sure if it'll show because there's hardly any, but even so, I'll pop it in. There we go. So that's that done. Um, so I'll leave those to cure up and I will be back tomorrow to show you those results. So I'll see you then. Bye for now. Hi there, welcome back. I'm going to demold these decorations that I did. They've been um, stood for a couple of days now because the temperatures are cold so it's taken a little bit longer for them to cure. Um, so I'll start off with the bells. It's a pretty one. Get some card and I can show you each one as I demold it then. I think I'm getting ready for a new piece of black card but let me see what I've got here. This one should be okay. Right, there's one. It's one of the bells. Silver at the top, silver at the bottom, and white in the middle. This one's the same with silver at the top, silver at the bottom, and white in the middle. And then this one's the opposite with white at the top and the bottom, and silver in the middle. with these so far. We'll do the stars next. The stars are all, all solid colours so I've got two silver ones. Here's the first. There's the first silver one. And I've got a white one. second silver one quite happy with these I like I do like them and then the baubles there's the first one and I've got one that's silver at the top and the bottom with white in the middle that's a nice one. And 
And then I've got one that's all white. So that's a nice one too. And then if you remember, I did have a little bit of resin left over. So I just did um, a couple of other stars from another mold. So I've got one that's solid white. These slightly bigger stars. So there's one that's solid white. And this one's silver and white. Can't see much of the white, there was only a little tiny bit left, I think, when I did that one. Just put a little tiny bit in the middle there, but as I say, you can't see that one very much. And I've got another one that's silver and white. And then last but not least is one that's solid silver. There we go. So I hope you like those. Um, I will be making some more. I'm not sure what colours I'll be doing next, but I will be making some more. Um, but um, as I said the other day, these were for um, a request that I'd got. Um, someone wanted some silver and white ones. Um, so I've done those now. I'm just picking the bits off the um, off the mould, which is quite satisfying. Um, so I hope, as I say, I hope you like those. I will be back with another experiment very soon. So I'll say bye for now, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Hi there, welcome back to Resin by Drew. I'm continuing with my silver and uh, white um, order that I'm doing. So today I've mixed up 200 grams of clear resin. I'm going to pour some into um, one cup that's going to be silver glitter, another one that's going to be white glitter, and then I'm going to keep some clear resin behind. Um, because I want to do a mixture of clear and uh, white and clear and silver on some of the uh, pieces. So I'm just getting some little stir sticks and a spoon so that I can um, decant my uh, glitter into the tubs. I've um, separated, I think it's just off camera, yeah, it's just off camera, but I've just separated some of the silver and some of the clear into uh, little pots already. So I'm just going to pop some silver glitter into one not going to put too much in because I've not got too much as much resin as I did the other day when I did this and I'm going to do white in the other one white in that one let's put my clip on because as you all know I'm a very messy worker messy crafter. So I'm just mixing the white in. I think that's enough. Mix the silver in. And that's enough so I'm going to start off I want to do the angel first because I know that I want the angel to be um, silver and clear so I'm going to do the wings and the bottom of the dress in silver and then the rest is going to be clear we go. So that's the angel done. Next is my absolute favourite which is the rocking horse and the rocking horse I want to be white for the head and the tail and the rocker at the bottom. And then we'll have the resting clear for that. I 
and we'll do the stocking which I think we'll do silver at the top and the bottom possibly white in the middle Do the bell. Actually, I'm not going to do the bell yet because if I don't have enough, then I'm not too worried about the bell because I have got I've done some other bells um, in the, um, the silver and the white, so I'm not going to worry too much. I'm going to concentrate on the ones that I haven't done the shapes of already, um, just in case I run out of resin. So we'll do this bauble here. We'll do white at the top and the bottom, and silver in the middle. And then on this one, we're going to do the candy cane. So the candy cane can be white and clear, I think. Put some clear in, spread that out a bit. I've got a little bit of overspill on that one now. Let's see if we can just scrape that bit off. There we go. A bit messy on my mould, but I'd rather have it like that than have too much overspill. Do the Christmas tree. We'll do that silver at the bottom and silver at the top. Let's push that right to the top there. And that can be clear in the middle. Do this bauble, which can be white at the top and the bottom. We'll do clear in the middle. And we'll do this bauble, which can be silver at the top and the bottom. Oops. Do a little star. Just a little bit of silver in the middle there. to do now. So I've got another bauble on this one. We'll do silver at the top and the bottom and clear in the middle. It's my clear used up now. And then I've got a heart and I've got another little the little bell. So I'm going to do the heart in silver. And then hopefully I've just got enough to do the bell in white, but we'll soon see. Just right. I think we're all full there. And that's it. So I'm going to leave those to cure up overnight 
and then tomorrow I will be back to demold them although it could be the next day because as I've said a couple of times it is taking an extra day at the moment um, to cure up just because it simply is that cold at the moment um, so um, as soon as they're cured I'll be back to demold them and show you the results so I'll say bye for now and I'll see you again soon bye Hi there, welcome back. I'm going to demold these um, Christmas tree decorations now. So let's see how they look. I'll demold them all. Um, I'll, in fact, I'll do it one by one. I'll get some black card and I'll put, I'll hold them against the black card so that you get a better picture of them. So here's the first one, the silver and clear bauble. That's pretty. I like how the silver just comes down a little bit in the middle. That's very pretty. There's a silver and white bauble. That's another pretty one. Oh, the, the top hasn't quite met. I might see if I can pop that back in and just add a little tiny bit of resin back to the top. Um, can you see at the top where the, the loop just hasn't quite met? Um, I've just not put enough. It's, it's user error it's nothing to do with the mold um i just haven't quite put enough resin in so i'm going to put that back in putting it back in the mold and i'm going to pour a little tiny bit of resin in the top just to top it up and see if i can get that to close over um it's difficult to put back in because there's actually two pegs on this one there's one at the top and one at the bottom um so it is a bit difficult to pop back in but i will try and put that back in and rectify that and we've got the rocking horse. I love this rocking horse. And they are all holographic as well, although I don't think the camera will pick up the holographic details. But they are holographic. But yeah, I absolutely love this rocking horse. Just got a little bit of overspill there. Just let me peel that bit off. That's it. The angel, I like the angel too. I think that's very pretty. Silver and clear angel. Do apologise about the dogs barking in the background. There's the silver and the white stocking. It's quite a large stocking compared to the other one that I did the other day. So it's nice to have the two different ones. Sorry, I don't know if you got a proper picture of the pop a picture of that one let me do that one again that that's the stocking and then the bell it's a nice white bell it's got a little tiny bit of silver at the bottom there which is nice so that's the bell and then for this mold i'll pop that mold to one side and then we'll do this mold so we've got the silver heart got the Christmas tree oops we've got some overspill on the quite a, quite a bit of overspill on the Christmas tree we've actually got a star um, from next door to the Christmas tree so I'll have to go around my, with my deburring tool and get that overspill off but that's not an issue I'll be able to do that but can you see I've got a little star I've got so much overspill on the Christmas tree that's not an issue I'll be able to get that off quite easily and then a different shaped bauble that's a nice one The candy cane, that's very pretty. It goes that way, upside down. There we go. And then different bauble. It's nice that there's some different shaped baubles. Bauble in that one. And then the star. Last but not least, the star. There we go. So that's all the um, that's all of them 
demolded. As I say, I'm going to try and put this bauble back in and just add a little bit more resin just to uh, the hanging loop at the top. Um, but um, otherwise, I hope you like those. Um, as I say, that is purely down to user error. It's nothing to do with the mould or anything else like that. Um, but I hope you like them. And I will be back soon with another experiment. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.